Thanks for watching this instructional video on how to use the eBird mobile app. First, you're going to find the app in your store and download it onto your device. Then, you're going to sign in with your Cornell Lab account, which in this case is our HarneyBirdScouts at gmail.com account. Then you're going to enter the password that is included in the Bird Scouts documents. Once you've validated your credentials, you're going to review your preferences in using the app. So you can have it have the app give you bird names in either common or scientific names or both. And then you're going to download your bird pack. And in this case, we want the Oregon bird pack. You can choose to enable notifications or not. Once the bird pack is installed, you can start entering your checklists. If you already have an eBird account, when you enter your checklist, you can tag the Harney Bird Scouts eBird account as a co-birder um, on your account. Or to enter your checklist, you need to enter your location, so where were you birding, and then you need to enter the species that you saw. eBird will automatically search for um, recent places that you've entered locations, nearby locations, or you can select your location from a map. In this case, we were birding on the Heinz Nature Trail. You're going to select the species by entering their name in the um, select species. You're going to enter the number of birds that you saw. And then you can enter um, whether or not it was an adult or a juvenile or a male or a female. And if it's during the breeding season, you can enter a breeding code. You can add interesting notes, such as with this prairie falcon, which caught and ate a quail.
Once you have finished recording all the species from your checklist, it's time to review your list. When you're reviewing a list, you're going to make sure to enter an observation type. Then you're going to enter the amount of time that you spent surveying and the number of miles that you spent surveying if you're traveling. If you use the eBird list or the eBird app while you're out birding, the eBird app will actually record that information for you automatically. Once all that information is entered, you're going to click yes to indicate that it's a complete checklist. And that's it. You've completed your first eBird checklist. Now for a little bit about the Great Backyard Bird Count. You can find information about the Great Backyard Bird Count at birdcount.org. At birdcount.org, you can find a diversity of information, including information about how to participate in the Great Backyard Bird Count. On the How to Participate page, you'll find information about helpful apps for identifying birds like the Merlin ID app, information about the eBird app, and you'll find information about counting instructions, including how to estimate birds, where to conduct your count, a reminder for how to put in a new checklist, the different ways that you can enter your data, and a reminder that you can start entering data for the Great Backyard Bird Count at midnight on the first day of the count. is a good time to go out and look for owls that might be in your backyard. You can also find information, uh, more information about the Merlin ID app, which is a great app for helping identify birds that you may not already know. At birdcount.org, you can also find information about how to watch live checklists being submitted. So as you're watching the map, you'll be looking for little bright yellow dots to show up. And those bright yellow dots indicate a checklist that has just been submitted anywhere in the world. You can also find information about how to enter your birds in the eBird website, in case you'd rather use the website instead of the app. And you can also find information about submitting photos. You can either submit photos as part of your checklist if you've taken pictures of birds, and through social media. Um, and the Bird Scouts page if you have pictures of you or your family out counting birds. Happy birding!